for me, it's all about apparel, hats, clothes, shirts, socks, all that kind of stuff. So I can spot somebody rocking a shirt or a new color scheme or something, then that kind of starts my inspiration to be like, okay, is that trending? Is that something that I could apply to the brand? Uh -huh. So I see that kind of stuff and then it immediately makes me itching to go design and start that process of creating more apparel products. It started with a post. Yep. So tell me, I wanna I want know, I wanna hear about this. Yeah, so about two years ago, I started an Instagram page, which is just Portland. Yeah. Um, grew it, posted beautiful pictures of the city, events mm -hmm. that were going on, obviously lived downtown, so it was easy to do. And then it grew and grew and grew, and 50, 60,000 followers, so mm -hmm. it was about a year and a half ago on Black Friday. My background's apparel, branding stuff. Mm -hmm. I've been doing it for clients. So I had one photo, of Eli and Jada, and it was two t-shirts, and mm -hmm. I posted it. No one had ever seen the brand coming. Uh -huh. They didn't hear of it before. I had portlandgear.com. Um, so I posted one photo on the Portland page, and I said, all I said was, show your Portland pride and Portland gear. And the first day, I did like 5,000 in sales. <laughs> yeah. And first so, day. <laughs> first day, no one, it literally, and in the it first exploded. like, yeah, it was crazy. I just see yeah. people wearing stuff, so I see what's trending, I see what, is unique that I haven't seen before. Yeah. So I try to not like rush into anything and be like, okay, I did that, I love it, let's print it today. <laughs> I try to let it sit for a couple days at least and see if I'm still as excited about right. it. I mean, I spend some time on hype beast and style blogs and stuff, but really not a lot of it because I want my stuff to be easy to wear stuff uh -huh. that just Portlanders can wear. So what better place to look than what Portlanders are wearing? I'll just look at trends, so obviously right. zip up sweatshirts and we do, you know, a, a little Portland print on the hood, so just adding little detailing so we Sweet. can sneak other stuff on there. But I mean, my inspiration and my design for everything is just keep it simple. Like, I just mm -hmm. want it to be easy to wear, um, minimal one or two color prints, obviously, besides this one. I mean, everything's pretty much like a one hit, yeah. two color, one color. So, just really celebrating regional pride. And so, it's part of the public art program. Facing the crowd. Facing the crowd's dynamic presence become a celebration of joy and playfulness. Universal theme of maintaining humor in the midst of a chaotic urban world. That's cool. Okay. So they've got these on a couple corners. and It's awesome. It's like a little, a little art thing. Yeah, they did this. This lady came and she yarn bearded it like a month ago. She made this really? huge beard out of yarn and tied it to him. And it's like, it was pretty cool. She called, oh, it's called beard bomb, bombing him. There's a great picture, yeah. She just tied this huge orange and yellow oh. beard to him. That's and just awesome. like in the middle of the night, and then people came the next day and then he was bearded with yarn. That's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. To dive in to the Portland Gear brand, mm -hmm. it really is, the, at its core, it's, it's Portland, mm -hmm. right? Tell me what does Portland mean to you? And maybe even touch up on what does it mean for you to be a Portland creator? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so everything obviously is based off yeah. of Portland. It came from the Portland page, it's called Portland Gear. I want Portlanders and us to all wear it. So, you know, Portland to me is home. It's a place where I can do what I enjoy doing and obviously people support it, which is amazing. The same way I support a lot of other small business owners and large businesses in the city. Um, I love how accessible the city is. You can get anywhere, you can explore. I try to, I try to be a tourist in my own town as much as I can. Mm -hmm. How do I go out and find new restaurants and things to do and markets and stuff? So, you know, Portland to me is everything, obviously, because of all this, but it's a place that you can be who you want to be and create your own identity and start a business and do whatever you want and go find people that will support you in it, which is cool and you don't find it in a lot of cities. So, yeah, I mean, I just, I love the aura around here. I love the buzz. I love... I love that people are proud of it, first and foremost, else this all wouldn't work. Right, um, right. Know, I'm proud of it, I'm just a walking cheerleader for the city everywhere I go, I just talk about how much I love Portland. Uh -huh. So as far as um, this, wh where are we right now? This is your official first shop, right? Yep, yep, so we opened up here about literally five months ago today. Um, so I had that Volkswagen, we were doing events all around uh -huh, town, and we right. kind of grew out from that. We'll still do that, so we still have like first Thursday and last Thursday, and we take the bus out three or four times a month, but we needed a physical store that people could come in and try stuff on. I mean, it's an mm -hmm. apparel brand. So what do you normally do with it? Do you just open it up and have to go inside? Or no, what? it's closed. We just open up off the back. So we have a tent right here, so the tent goes off the back, and we have tables. Yeah, it's cool. This is, again, simple setup. Just got a chair, got a table, black tablecloth, the tent, pull the product out, have it out of the back. Just creates a little party. <laughs> Good, it's awesome. 
you don't see like a lot of price tags around, like not everything's labeled individually. Right. Because we want to create conversations with people and talk to them about it and walk them through the products first rather than just being it about all about price points. Right. Um, if anyone walks in, Eli and Mac or myself, we'll talk to them. Mm -hmm. Where are you from? What are you doing? What are you up to the rest of the day? What do you love about the city? How'd you figure out about us? Like uh -huh. we try to divest huge relationships with just any customer that walks in um, because I know that's what will last longer than hats and shirts and stuff is the relationships and getting people to send friends back here and talking there about it. So we invest more time in, in the relationship side than, than anything. That's awesome. Yeah. Going from a social media sure. audience, right, mm -hmm. to an online experience where you're selling mm -hmm. your products to this today with the, sh with the showroom, if I even made the shop, sure. yeah. and, the, and the van that you drive around mm -hmm. town. How did you get here? I mean, it was all very linear, you know, like to go from online that grew and then I was like, well, people in Portland don't want to pay for shipping, so how can I create a retail experience where they can come get it? So I got the bus, I took the products to them, uh -huh. so then they'd come to the bus and they'd buy stuff. Well, then we outgrew that because not everyone wanted to come to 5 o'clock on a first Thursday to uh -huh. 13th and Hoyt, not everyone can make it there. So I was like, well, I'm probably losing out on a lot of people and it's an apparel brand. People want to try it on. So it's like, right. I need a retail store. So it's all very linear moves that got here. So what would you say, like if you were to say, look guys, if there's a, maybe a piece of advice or a piece of mm -hmm. something that you'd maybe shout out to? Um, stick with it. Stick with Whatever it. Whatever it is, yeah. It won't, it won't always start with the first post does a $5,000 day. <laughs> and you know, I right. had spent years getting to that point. Uh -huh. Years developing those pages, mm -hmm. years going to school for graphic design and branding, mm -hmm. years creating all my relationships with the screen printers right. for it to come down to that moment. Yeah. So people think that they're just gonna have that moment. You will, but it takes a lot of time to get to it and a lot of work behind scenes when you're not posting photos and when it's not all glamorous, you know, I spend hours, 15 hours a day working on this stuff right. for it to be this. So stick with it, don't give up on it. Obviously that's like a cliche thing, but it's true. It's the reason people have preached that for years right, and years right. and years forever, right. because it just takes a long time for things to manifest and to grow, so. Dude, well, hey, thank you so much appreciate for having it. us. Yeah. Well, it's awesome. Good, thanks for coming in, I appreciate yeah. it.